Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to your tarot scope. This is a general reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It's a weekly tarot scope for December 1st through December 7th. Angels, Divine Spirits, Master Spirits, I invite you to come in and help me deliver messages to the zodiac sign of Sagittarius. That's too many. What is Sagittarius? That one right there? Mm. All right. Okay, something's not right, Sagittarius. Are things a mess? <laughs> What's going on? Or is there confusion? I'm confused about what the angels were trying to do. Mm -mm. Chair filled. Someone new is entering your life. It's not someone returning. Somebody new. So you're going to meet a new person. Uh-oh, for the single people. Let's see. Plenty of material things. They got money too. <laughs> Carrot opportunity or windfall wow okay yep i back that up again you will be playing a different role so this is the hat so that means you're going to be doing something that you probably never did before owl good advice from a wise person all right well i have to say so far sagittarius this seems like a pretty good reading you never know what's going to come out in the cards. But so far, so good. Looks like there's money, um, playing a different role, and an opportunity or a windfall, and you got a new person coming in. Let's see. Angels, divine spirits, master spirits, I invite you now to come in and help me deliver messages. The Death card, right off the bat. The Knight of Wands. To the Zodiac sign of Sagittarius. Show Sagittarius the messages they need to see. So it looks like somebody ended something and went into a passionate new direction that they were very excited about. Wow. All right. That could be the new person that came in. They came rushing in out of nowhere. We're going to take that one. Look at the Ace of Cups. This one did come out sideways. My rule is when it comes out sideways, it goes into the upright. We will see if it needs to be reversed. It is the Three of Cups. It could be somebody being upset about you going in a new direction. But let's see. The pit. Yeah, somebody's upset. You know what? I'm going to turn that around. For now, we'll see what happens. Three more cards. Angels plead. This is definitely a love story so far. Somebody new is coming in, Sagittarius. Or you're headed towards something that you love. If it's a career. The Three of Wands. Wow. All right. Two more cards. What you're waiting for is coming. The lovers. Oh my God, Sagittarius. This is beautiful. This is like a heaven sent relationship. Whatever you ended over there with the death card. And the ace of wands. I love it. I love it. I love it. Very nice reading, Sagittarius. I can't wait to do it because Queen of Swords is reversed. So we do have somebody that's unhappy about this situation. We'll get into her in a minute. The magician being free from the devil. The king of cups reversed. Okay. I'm going to leave him there. I'm going to put these three out for a minute. So I can see what's going on here. Let's leave the king of cups in reverse up there. So it looks like you got a water sign or an air sign. That is not happy about what's happening. 
So the first card that you have for your past Sagittarius is the beautiful death card. It looks like you've followed some good advice from a wise person and you put an end to something. I'm feeling that it was a third party relationship. I feel like you were in a relationship with a water sign and now you're going towards a fire sign. But death is big changes, transformation, it's over, the end, sudden, unexpected, a new chapter has begun. This is in your past, so you already know what ended. I do like to point out, I always like to, I really strongly feel like this is a love relationship. However, this could be a job as well, because we're gonna get to that in a minute, because the magician card is my person that has skills. And with this hat card, I feel like somebody's gonna be making a career move here as well. But my cards aren't straight. I don't like when they're not straight. The Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a new direction, an offer. This is, I mean, somebody just came in and swept you right off your feet. They came in very quickly. They were very passionate, exciting, charming. That's like the hero. The hero came in and rescued the maiden. This person is very passionate about you, Sagittarius, or vice versa, because that is your energy. You could be very passionate about someone that you've met, but you got an offer from somewhere. And Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, again, look at you. You're so excited that you are telling everyone. You're telling all your friends and family. You're excited. You're passionate. A new person has come in. These are, these are sending messages back and forth. I love you more. No, I love you more. It's good news. A letter, a phone call, an email, text messages over the internet. You are very excited about this Ace of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Look at that. The death card led right to it. Because somebody was brave enough to end a situation, it led them to their soulmate. That's what I'm feeling here. It's a new beginning, a new relationship, a new love. It is a blessing from the universe and you got it twice. With the lovers and the Ace of Cups being in the same reading, there's definitely soulmate energy here. Somebody is so happy that they're crying. That's what I just heard. <laughs> I can't believe it. This is the best thing that ever happened to me. This relationship has a lot of potential. Now, the Three of Cups in reverse in the center of the reading. Somebody got caught talking to another person here. It's third party. This could very well be this King of Cups that is crying here because I heard crying. He does not want to hear this is a water sign that you have left. They are so jealous that you are so happy and you left them. They are going to cause a scene. I just heard cause a scene at a social gathering. You could be out with your friends or you could just run into this person unexpectedly but they want to get back together. The feelings are not reciprocated. There's no reunion here. This isn't happening, but you are going to see them. This person could have been an alcoholic as well. King of cups reverse, three of cups reverse. That's my, my drinkers, drinking cards. He was obviously talking to somebody. It could have been this queen of swords, but I'm getting the feeling that you are the queen of swords. The queen of swords in reverse can represent a few things. First of all, it represents someone that's following their heart. And I see that you're clearly doing that here. It also represents someone that's pissed because they've been hurt. This person hurt you, this water sign hurt you. And there may be a scene at a party. Now, as far as you playing a different role, I am feeling marriage here. Someone new entering your life, you will be playing a different role Yes, you're going to be playing a different role because you're going to be in a very happy relationship with someone who loves you and treats you the way that you're supposed to be treated. The Page of Cups reverse can represent uh, someone who is obsessed or someone who has stalker-like energy. But I'm feeling like they don't want to hear because that little 
boy, this page of wands is like yelling. This fire sign is yelling at this water sign, like, guess what? I'm so excited. And they're like, I don't want to hear it. I don't care. That's unrequited love. There's not a lot enough relationship or there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. It's over. It's over. Go away. Leave me alone. Stop causing a scene with my family, with my friends. We don't want you here. It's bad news for them. They're acting childish. Drama, drama, jealousy, jealousy. Because you're just ignoring them. They can't stand to see you happy. Three of Wands, first card for your future, sign of Aries. You're waiting for something. You're expecting something. And look what you're looking at. You're waiting for your love. You could have met this person while you were traveling. Knight of Wands, Three of Wands is distance to me. But that's also turning your back. You are turning your back on this person who did this to you. Look at all the flowers blooming on the wands. We got it in this card too. Something new is blooming. Something is growing. Passion, excitement, happiness. The lovers, Gemini. Perfect union. Perfect harmony. It, can, it does represent a decision. But clearly I can see what your decision is. Your decision is either going back to this person or having something new and following your passion and following your heart. Obviously, this is your final outcome. That's what you're going to do. There's a lot of attraction and passion here. If you are single, you are about to meet the love of your life. If any of this is resonating with you, I'm seeing a proposal. This is making plans for the future. You're making plans for the future with your love, with someone you love, something that's growing, a new beginning. A strong physical connection. This is true love. It's so nice to do a, a happy, beautiful reading. I think the angels want you to go ahead with this relationship if you're questioning it at all. Because the Queen of Swords is known to be hesitant. Confused. She's not sure. She's doing the right thing. Go for it. So on the job note, before I, before I finish and get into all this, because... Either the person that you're meeting or going towards is going to absolutely shower you with gifts because this person has money. Because um, you have plenty of material things and opportunity or windfall. If you quit your job because you got an offer from, quit job, got an offer from another company, got really excited and started telling everybody about it, this could be something creative, like this is, my magician card tells me that someone here has special abilities, special skills, special gifts. You could be following your passion. You could be, you know, I always give the examples of writing a book, painting, tarot card reading, making candles. I like to make candles. I do that for relaxation. Whatever it is, Somebody is skilled here at something. I don't really feel like this is a job, but if it is, you're going to be wearing a different hat. So that tells me that you're going to get a new job doing something that you never did before. You followed the good advice from a person who told you to apply for this job, and you're going to have a big raise, plenty of material things, and an opportunity or a windfall. I feel like this new job is definitely the place to go. If you are starting your own business, you may be starting a business with a lover because your ships have come in, Sagittarius. There also could be a chance that this love is somehow at a distance from you. And you may have to move there. And you know what? I think you're going to do it. Just follow the advice because you clearly have somebody around you that is giving you good advice. Don't be confused. This is the right thing for you, Sagittarius. And you do have one, 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 all in the upright position. You know what? Let's look that number up in the book real quick. I know it's something about success. Um, 
This number brings you an urgent message that your thoughts are manifesting instantly. So keep your mindset focused on your desires and give any fearful thoughts you may have to heaven for transmutation. So in other words, don't be worried. This is the right thing. This is the start of something big. That's also talent. Talent, skills, skills, traveling for work, maybe even being a teacher, teaching other people your skills. Like before you were the learner, now you're going to be the teacher. But it's there's opportunity all over this reading. It's birth, birth. You have all the tools that you need to make this successful. There's even magic in this relationship. This person has good intentions. Don't be scared. I mean, look at all the sexual energy as well. Wow. And the devil in reverse. Break free from the chains. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. You are free, 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 free. Taking back your power, not letting someone control you, coming to the light, getting out of a negative situation, a situation you were in for too long. This is clear. Bye-bye, see ya. I'm going in an absolutely beautiful new direction. I feel like we need some romance angels for this, for the clarifying messages. Let's see. Romance angels, what additional messages do you have for my Sagittarius friends? One, release your ex. <laughs> the time has come to clear your energy. Bye bye. See ya, buddy. I'm gone. I'm in love with somebody else. It's over. I don't want to speak to you. I don't want to look at you. I don't want to hear anything that you have to say. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. That tells me I feel like you are this queen of swords. I feel like you're questioning if you should go in this new direction with this new person. Yes, yes, yes. Let's get one more. Sagittarius. Oh, soulmate. I told you. I told you. This is a beautiful reading. Sagittarius. Congratulations. Wow. Let's pull some advice cards. Close it out. Good luck. Let me know in the comments below. Don't be worried. Don't be afraid. Do it, do it, do it. Can we have some advice for Sagittarius angels, please? What do they need to know about this new direction, this new love? Seeing clearly. It's time to view things from a different perspective perspective. You have the blessed gift to see past the current situation and envision the amazing possibilities. Stop worrying. The pause in momentum while you rethink your plan won't last. Embrace your uniqueness and allow it to serve you. That's the hangman. You're going to leave him hanging. Bye-bye. See ya. You shouldn't have treated me that way. You shouldn't have did what you did. I'm out of here. And on the bottom of the deck, we have the queen of swords. It's time to clean up your life, get rid of anything that clutters your space or makes you disorganized. People who take from you but don't give back should be released as well with an exclamation point. You or another person involved in this situation is wise, insightful, and caring, has a wonderful sense of humor, and offers a lot of life experience. The death card. How perfect. Releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you to let go so that you can fly higher than you ever have before. Endings always herald new beginnings. Choose to allow this situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. Wow. Sagittarius. Absolutely wonderful. Good for you. I am going to leave that there. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck and Merry Christmas. <laughs> I will see you soon.